Hello Bookworms, I'm Becca. I'm going to be doing my October wrap up. So in the month of October, I ended up reading three books. None of them were creepy, which is a little disappointing, but I still enjoyed them all the same. First, I read Turtles All the Way Down by Jan Green. If you don't know and are living under a rock, John Green's newest book came out and I am loving it. You can feel free to check out my spoiler free review, which I will leave linked for you. But anyway, in Turtles All the Way Down, we follow 16 year old Aza, who is trying to keep her OCD under control for the majority of the book. And we get to see a lot of her internal thought spirals, which was anxiety inducing. <laughs> I feel like I got a little bit more of an insight into the inner workings of John's brain which is awesome because he's one of my favorite authors. I know that because this style changed so much in this book a lot of people did not enjoy it that much but even though the plot in the actual story that was taking place was not one of my favorites at all. I really loved Aza as a character. I think that John did an amazing job on this book. And I gave Turtles all the way down 4 out of 5 stars. Also this month I read Wonder by RJ Palacio. I liked it a lot. If you don't know, this is a middle grade book that follows Augie Pullman who was born with a very rare genetic condition that has caused him to have to have a bunch of facial surgeries and as a result he looks a little bit different from the rest of us and his parents have decided to homeschool him but now he is going into sixth grade I believe and is transitioning into a public school. So this is a whole new experience for him. It was told from different perspectives, but each perspective was its own part in the book. So his mom had her own part, his sister had her own part, other friends that he interacted with at school had their own part, and Augie had his own chapters as well. So it was just really interesting to see how Augie affected the different people in his life and how they affected him in turn. So I thought that that was really good. I definitely cried. I'm really looking forward to maybe seeing the movie. And the last book I just finished is Dear Martin by Nick Stone and I hope that this book just absolutely ends up blowing up because it was so Good. It is about a 16 year old boy named Justice and he goes to an all white or mostly white prep school in Atlanta. For the first time in his life he experiences injustice towards him where he is wrongfully arrested and held in custody for something that he didn't even do. That kind of just sets off a series of events and I don't want to spoil it for you but it gets freaking crazy. But basically it inspires Justice to start a Be Like Martin campaign where he wants to try to embody Martin Luther King Jr more and be more like him. So he starts a journal where he writes these letters to Martin Luther King to kind of process everything that is happening to him and those are probably my favorite sections of the book because the writing was a little strange for me. It was hard to get into and some of the dialogue felt more like I was reading a script than I was reading a conversation if that makes sense and just some other really minor issues for me personally nothing to do with the story but more the writing style it overall read very after school special or maybe like Hallmark Channel made for TV movie but the story itself is incredibly important and I loved it a lot and this is Nick Stone's first book so I hope that we are kind to her so that she will write more books because it was really good and we need more books like this. So if you liked The Hate You Give, 
then you will really enjoy Dear Martin. So be sure to give this book a chance too. And those are the only three books that I read this month. It was a pretty decent reading month, but I hope to do better in the future. I was just really busy and not in the mood for reading most of the time. I'm battling a slight slump, so make sure to let me know down below in the comments what books you have read recently, and maybe I will pick them up. But that's really all I got to say. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to see more bookish videos. That's all I got for you guys today, and I will see you next time.